always pick grades first. So when I got home, uh, even before I got home, I would try to do homework at the end of class when they gave it to us. Mm-hmm. I just try to knock that out the way uh, before I got home and um, go straight to practice at the school. So work as hard as I could in practice. As soon as I get home, the first thing I would do is my homework uh, just or study a little bit just so I could, while I still fresh my mind from school a little bit. And um, pretty much after that, I would like, you know, have a little fun, play video games because I'm a big, big video gamer. And okay. uh, yeah, so it was just, I try to prioritize school over everything for the most part while I was in school. Just uh, that determination you have to get better on your musical instrument carries over to schoolwork and in, in your classes and just in the real life, in, in the real world. What age did you start playing football? I actually started playing football when I was four. So I've been playing for a while. <laughs> No, no, was that full-out tackle football or was that flag? or well, What is it like at the age of four? Oh, it was tackle. Uh, it was, it was <laughs> really? tackle back then, yeah. Flag football really wasn't big when I was younger. And um, I, always, I always begged my mom to let me play because I saw my older brother and older cousin playing. And um, I just wanted to play so bad that when I finally turned four, I was bigger than everybody else my age, so they let me play. How have you stayed sane during this quarantine? <laughs> um, me personally, um, I play a lot of video games. I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty and stuff lately. And um, also, like, I pretty much built a gym in my garage, so I just go and work out in my garage when I get bored. Well, what's the, I guess, the most memorable uh, experience of your athletic career thus far? Uh, probably one of the national. Uh, I don't know, because getting drafted wasn't on the field, but that was probably the biggest thing. That on the field, I would have to say, winning the national championship my freshman year against Notre Dame. Wow. Yeah. And, and during your freshman year, were you an active participant? Were you a starter on the team? Back no, I wasn't the starter my freshman year. I didn't start into my – actually, I didn't start into my last year at Alabama. Really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay. How did you build your confidence? Um, Building my confidence. Um. Yeah, that was, that's a good one because I used to be a, a super shy kid. Like, I was super shy. Uh, I used to, get, like, start sweating when I had to talk to people and stuff. And um, building my confidence, I felt like uh, you just have to believe in yourself. When uh, My biggest thing was when someone told me I couldn't do it, uh, my biggest thing was I wanted to prove them wrong. So that was my way of building my own confidence up a little bit. Because, like, when, when someone don't believe in you, if you don't believe in yourself, who will? In middle school, I was like super, super shy. I was conscious of myself because I was a little chubby in middle school, I guess you could say. And um, I would just say, be confident, believe in yourself. And uh, you have a lot of growing to do and uh, uh, a lot of life to live. And uh, just en- enjoy those years in middle school, making friends, uh, learning new things, and just enjoy it. Now, do you see a correlation between music and sports? Yes. Uh, simply because. Um, with both of them, if you don't practice and try to ingrain yourself to work hard to master the instrument as well as your craft on in sports, you won't you won't progress and get better. Mm. It's like you can't uh, sit on the couch for three months and then expect to play at your best in a football game, or you can't pick up not pick up an instrument for three months and expect to play like you used to. Um, so you spoke about you know losing your mom at pretty much an important time in your life where you're going to go to college and you know all these big things are going to happen especially now with this coronavirus it it has impacted a lot of you know our school families and kids are losing family members left and right what advice would you give to them you know to keep them going since you know you went through this at at a pretty young age mm-hmm. um yes um pretty much my biggest uh my biggest advice would be um Continue to live life the way they would want you to live because um, I know like uh, when my mom passed, I didn't want to play. I didn't want to go to school. I didn't want to do sports. Um, that, that, that isn't what she would have wanted me to do. She, want, she would want me to go to class, uh, be a great student, uh, be on the field, to be a great athlete, be the best I could be on and off the field as a person, just to always try to help other others and just be a great person like she was. So pretty much live life in the, in the way you thought they would want you to live and um, live life just to uh, pay respects to them. Bell, Bell Middle School, where the Eagles, yeah, we stand tall.